guys, welcome to October. So today I wanted to share the materials that I'm going to be using for my yearly inked October art challenge, Lilliputian Living. These are tried and true art materials. They were what I use every year, Pinky, but I still wanted to share them with you guys today. So let's start out with the paper because this is really important. This has got to last us the whole month. I like to use Strathmore's mixed media visual journals for my Lilliputian living challenges. I like that it is 100% cotton and I like the vellum finish. I really like how it handles the ink that I use. To draw and sketch everything, I use mechanical pencils because that's what I'm comfortable with. I've kind of started switching over to the smaller 0.5 Muji pencils that you guys see here. This is a new one. This is my old faithful. It's always just helpful to have some just in case. I'm also going to be sketching using 0.5 red lead from Pentel. I happen to really like this lead and it works really well for what I'm doing and for Lilliputian living. Since this is an inked art challenge, of course I need to ink. Now the downside is I am going to be traveling a whole heck of a lot this month, but that's nothing new. October is always a crazy month for me with cons and fairs and different traveling arrangements. So I need inking supplies that travel well. And for that, I have my old standby, the Sakura Pigma FB. This is a smaller tipped brush pin. I've already got a nice, cushy grip on this because I have early onset arthritis and this grip helps a lot. And then I also have two of Pentel's pigment based brush pins, the extra fine and then the medium for larger fills. I also have some backups handy because we have an entire month of inking ahead of us, I don't want to run out midway. I'm adding something a little bit different to the lineup this year. The Tombow Furinosuke brush pins are capable of some really, really fine, delicate lines. And I thought these might be handy to have on hand for some of those finer, more delicate details, especially when my hand is feeling shot after a day of drawing. Believe it or not, this is year six. Year six six of Lilliputian Living. I started it back in 2017. Here is one of the many, many, this is actually from two years ago, just to show you guys what I do. And generally my goal is to sketch the illustration the day before, ink it the next day, when I can record the process to share with you guys, and then share a photo of the finished art on social media. My October is even crazier this year than it normally is. So while I think I can do the sketches and the inkings every day, it may be a little bit more challenging for me to share it on social media. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. I may have to play catch up at some point, but keep an eye on my Instagram at NatoSoup, my TikTok at NatoSoup, and of course my shorts here because I really want to share process with you guys as many days as possible. I'm really hoping, I don't think I can get the full month recorded because I'm going to be flying on some of those days. It's really hard to record while you're flying, but I will release a vlog of my process and progress at the end of the month and I tend to do that every year as well. So if you're curious about last year's, I will link that down in the description for you guys. So make sure you check that out. So what do I do with these inked illustrations? Well. Lilliputian Living, the compendium of miniature life, is the first four years of Lilliputian Living. So we have an illustration and then we have a world building prompt to go with it. Most years are just in straightforward black and white, but year two I got brave and I did ink wash. And while I'm really glad I tried it, it just doesn't necessarily work out super well for how I like to make art and my time frame. So year two is the only year I did ink wash, but I'm still glad I tried it. 
and every year runs on a different theme. This year, I am so excited, so super duper excited because it's pets. And that means I get to draw squirrels and rabbits and cats and pet rats and lizards and snakes. And I'm just, I love animals, so I'm super pumped. And insects, got to draw some insects in there. I'm super pumped about that. But every year has a different theme with world building prompts to go along with it. So that is the first volume of Lilliputian Living. It is, of course, available in the Natto Shop. But we are also working on, in fact, we're literally just waiting for these to come in. I'm so excited. The Curious Little Things coloring book. So what we did is we took the best of Lilliputian Living, everything minus year two, but... To make up for year two, we added some things from year five, which aren't even in the Lilliputian Living book. But we sized everything pretty generously to give you guys lots of room to color. And we left the back sides blank so that when you color, it can bleed through and it's not going to ruin an illustration on the other side. So now we're in year five territory. So these are new to a lot of people. And then I also did some brand new illustrations just for curious little things. So I've actually been working on Lilliputian Living kind of, sort of, even earlier this year so that we'd have some new illustrations for curious little things. I really love the chance to work in black and white instead of my usual watercolor for an entire month and I can't wait to share daily illustrations with you guys. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I know you can't be as excited about it as I am because I'm super excited. I love doing Lilliputian Living in October, but I hope you're at least a little bit excited and I hope you guys will look forward to the daily or near daily updates from me. So hopefully this inspired you to try inking this October as the weather cools down and the air gets kind of crisp. It just feels like a natural fit for inks since your hands aren't sweaty and smearing the inks all over the page. So if you've never tried inking, I hope this year is the year you decide to give it a shot. But I just wanted to share my Inktober, or sorry, whoops, my October inking supplies with you guys. And I hope you guys will look forward to Lilliputian Living over on social media. You can look for it in the hashtag Lilliputian Living. Are you guys doing any art challenges this October? If so, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to cheer you on. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to share my art with you guys this October. Bye!